Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers replace toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're going to find out is core hydration water actually good for you? Is core hydration water good for you? All right, so we're going to look at it for numerous things and that is one of the benefits of catching this video. So if you're interested in about improving your health and wellness even more, make sure you subscribe wherever that button is so you can see awesome tips, tricks, and strategies to get the most out of your wellness. All right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is uh, we got perfectly balanced core hydration water and we're gonna test it for quite a few things, all right? The first one that we're actually gonna test for is antioxidants, all right? So our water should be an antioxidant, all right? now. You're probably thinking, well, what the heck's an antioxidant? Antioxidants are there to actually fight off free radicals. And free radicals are all around us. They are in the air that we breathe. They are in the foods that we eat. They're in our electronics. And so those free radicals, they come in to our body and they take electrons from our healthy cells. And that creates oxidation and inflammation. Okay, and those are two things that are linked to every health disease known to man. So oxidation is positively charged. It creates aging, inflammation in the body, and it ultimately leads to disease and sickness, all right? So your antioxidants are actually gonna neutralize those free radicals. They're gonna give them the electron that they need so they can actually neutralize, and they'll turn into water, which is pretty cool. Um, they are negatively charged, reduce the oxidation, reduce inflammation, and they are essentially the fountain of youth. It's how we stay looking young and awesome, right? So, how do we check that? We're gonna check that using an ORP meter. And so once again, when I put this wand in the water, if it's a positive number, that means it's oxidizing us, it's making us sicker. However, if you see a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and that's what our body loves. Those are the fruits and vegetables we're eating, and the vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. So let's see how coral hydration water does. As you can see, sorry, showing positive just because of the air. And you can see my stink breath makes it go even higher. All right. So <laughs> with that being said, let's go ahead and see what we get here from core hydration. Let's see. And it looks like we're getting a positive 220 and it's going up to 225. And once again, it's because the air is oxidizing too, so it's just adding to it, right? So ultimately, core hydration, just this alone, is oxidizing us. It's not, it's not good. It's not water that we should be consuming. It is actually going to make our cells worse. And you're probably thinking, okay, that's great, LaPrentice. Is there a water that actually is shows up negative as an antioxidant? Well, absolutely. Let's check out this one over here. I'm going to do that same thing. And as you see, we are getting wow. We're getting a negative 780, right? So <laughs> this is water that actually has those negative antioxidants. It's full of antioxidants, right? And that is pretty cool. So that shows you that for one, that we have waters that can actually do that. And number two, that core hydration right now isn't able to do that. When we ask, is core hydration water good for you? But let's not stop there, shall we? Let's go ahead and do another test. The next test that we're gonna do is on alkalinity. And we want to ensure that our body stays in a slightly alkaline state. If our body gets too acidic, it's gonna allow toxicity to build up and it's gonna lead to more sickness and aging and disease, right? And so what we have here are pH drops. And pH drops stand for potential hydrogen. And it's gonna allow you, us to see exactly how acidic or alkaline what we're consuming is. So, if we put these drops in and you see a red, a orange, or a yellow, that means it is acidic. It is eating the electrolytes and minerals in our body, and that's not good. We don't want that. We need our potassium, magnesium, and calcium to help us in our body, help it recover, and help give us the nutrients we need. If we see a blue, a purple, a dark purple, that means it's alkaline. And it's either helping provide those nutrients or it's ensuring that our body stays stable with the nutrients that we have. It's not taking it away. All right. So let's go ahead and check out core hydration. 
All right. So I don't know if you saw that. You may have to go ahead and check the replay. But it started off yellow and then it kind of went blue, right? And they claim on here that it is the perfect pH of 7.4. Our body, yep, it is. That is our blood level, not our whole body. Our body actually takes on different pHs depending on where we're grabbing it from. The pH in our mouth is different than the urine that comes out, right? And so our blood must maintain that 7.36 uh, for 7.365 pH, right? So they rounded up 7.4. That's just our blood though. So don't let the marketing on here fool you. Also, let's not let that color fool us either, <laughs> right? So we're gonna check it out in a second. But if you're wondering if there's a water that can actually be a nice purple color, there is. And so I wanna grab something real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this straw because core hydration has things in it. So for one, it is purified water by reverse osmosis. Now reverse osmosis is one of the toughest, strongest ways of removing everything from your water. Not only does it remove the bad stuff, the bad chemicals that are in your water, but it actually removes all the good minerals too. And so they're adding minerals back into this. This is inorganic, and they are adding in calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, and potassium bicarbonate, right? Well, potassium bicarbonate is an alternative for baking soda, right? So, which is sodium bicarbonate. Your magnesium chloride is another inorganic salt that is added to this, and your calcium chloride is another salt that's used to de-ice the roads. Okay, so that's the same ice that we use to de-ice our roads when it's snowing. If all those things build up in our body, it's ultimately not good. It's gonna to lead to alcoholosis. This leads to nausea, vomiting, uh, seizures sometimes, and other things like that. But just to show you, your out your water when it has a strong pH and it's very alkalizing, when you actually put oxidation against it, it should neutralize it. We kind of talked about that in the first test, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it some oxidation. <laughs> I'm gonna give it some some of my breath, my snake breath you saw earlier, and it should balance it out and fight it off, okay? So let's see what happens here. So as you see, it practically turned <laughs> pretty yellow, right? And that's because it's trying to fight off the oxidation and the free radicals I'm putting into it, okay? The problem is, with those organic, inorganic materials, it's not really fighting it off, it's just putting on the appearance of being good for us. Let's check this water out over here. So as you see, this does not change because this is not chemically changed. This is not chemically alkaline water. This is electrically changed, right? So it's not on a chemical level. We're adding chemicals to change this. We're not adding chemicals to change this at all. This one over here. So that's how this one is staying the same color. It's able to fight off the oxidation I'm putting into it. While this one, it's not. It's just adjusting to whatever chemicals is inside of it. So I wanted to show you that really quick on <laughs> what's going on there with that water. Our antioxidants, right? We talked about alkalinity. And the third thing that I feel is most important is that it should be able to hydrate us. Like actually be small enough to hydrate us on a cellular level, okay? And right now, core hydration isn't looking too good already, but maybe it can hydrate us. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna test that and we're gonna use a tea bag. Right, because tea bags are dehydrated and sometimes like us, when we, especially when we wake up in the morning after a strong workout or a run, we need to get hydrated, okay? So I want you to picture for me a chain link fence. All right. Now let's say we take a beach ball and we hurl it at that chain link fence. What's going to happen? That beach ball is going to come rolling back, right? However, if we took a pebble and threw it through that same chain link fence. It's going to go right through. It's probably going to hit someone in the shoulder or something like that. And they're like, hey, what are you doing? 
<laughs> so our water should be the same way that chain link fence is our cells. Our water should be able to push through, get into the cell and actually provide the nutrition, the minerals and the hydration, the water that you need so your cells can push out the toxins and take in the minerals, all right? So this tea bag is a representation of us trying to hydrate ourselves. Let's go ahead and see how this water does. All right, and you're like, well, Prentice, this is not how you make tea. You have to boil the water to make tea. And I'm just like, I understand, but why? Like, why do we have to do that? And it's because it makes the water molecule so small that it passes through the tea bag. But what if you didn't have to do that? pretty awesome right <laughs> and I know what you're probably thinking you're thinking well Prentice the bag was already wet the tea bag was wet if you try it now with the core hydration it will actually hydrate well let's check and see eh, it's doing a little bit but nowhere near as close as this one right so when you're actually let's say you're drinking water and you let's say you're taking supplements right let's say you are um, taking protein supplements or anything like that and you want it to actually get into your bloodstream quick and let's just say you took a little bit you're gonna want your water to help it get into your bloodstream faster so you can reap the same benefits of it right now because when you're drinking the right water you'll actually hydrate yourself much better all right so when you look at core hydration it's not that good when it comes to is core hydration water good for you to be honest it's it's not um we checked it for three specific things right we checked it for antioxidants and your water should have antioxidants right but this was oxidizing us so it's helping create sickness and aging in our body not only that the alkalinity while it showed the 7.4 right that we know now that that's because of inorganic minerals right and when we actually test it to see if it's truly alkaline with by battling it out with actual mustang breath and then we saw the true color of the ph and it actually was actually pretty bad due to reverse osmosis we know that the chemicals in this can lead to alkalosis which leads to vomiting and things like that last but not least we saw that it doesn't really hydrate us on a cellular level maybe you'll get 10 to 15 percent of hydration in in the meantime there are other waters that can do all those things so if you're curious on what kind of waters can actually do that and what a good water consists of i highly recommend going to my facebook page and simply adding liking the page for one and then number two just connecting with me and just asking hey do you have a report do you have something that's on the five key properties every healthy water must have and i will shoot you in the direction i will give you that resource so you can discover what is a good healthy water so you can start improving your health ultimately is core hydration water good for you no <laughs> and we didn't even talk about the money you're wasting on this you're we're wasting money on this we're destroying the environment because of the plastic ultimately not good there is something our mother much other better things out there hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you for watching let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do that and remember if you change your water you can change your world thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one